Okay, so boss. Runway heading up to three thousand. Clear for takeoff. Two six left. Blue to one switch. And thanks so much. Great job all weekend. There they go. Hello everyone, my name is Peyton Burnett, and this is going to be a week in the life of somebody who helps admin the Blue Angels practice info page. Now you guys may notice that this is a video unlike anything that I have ever done before on this channel. Now you might be thinking, why would you share a week in the life of something so trivial? And let me tell you, it is anything but trivial. I pour so much time into this and it's one of my absolute biggest passions, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. To make things even more entertaining, I am all the way from Roseburg, Oregon, which is an entire 2,700 miles away from Pensacola where the Blue Angels are based. Everything that you guys are going to see this week is done via radar, air traffic control, and through the help of a couple of special friends that I admin the page with. I have not been on Brian's team for very long. I think I joined in early March, right at the beginning of the season. It's safe to say that I absolutely love it. I love it so much and I am so very grateful that Brian brought me on to work on the team. I actually started out only doing the beach buzz tracking, which is when they fly over the Pensacola Pier and surrounding areas with their smoke on. But a few weeks after I started doing that, I was added on to doing the actual practices themselves, which is pretty stinking awesome. I love getting to start my mornings listening to them on the radio. I can't even explain how much I love what I do. This is honestly all thanks to Brian. I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, cannot thank him enough for allowing me the opportunity to do this. I feel like I'm so involved in the community and I'm 2,700 miles away. So we're starting out with today, which is a beach buzz day. Monday we have off. Tuesday and Wednesday there's practice, which is from 10.30 to 11.30 Pensacola time. So I have to get up pretty early on these days. And then Thursday they will be departing for their next show. Friday and Saturday is usually pretty quiet. I just do the math to try and figure out when they're gonna buzz the beach on Sunday. And then we do it all over again on Sunday. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys with me. They are getting ready to depart for their demo, so it's getting close to time for me to have to start watching pretty close. Okay, so unfortunately I am not picking anything up on the air traffic control. So we're gonna have to pull up the ADS-B tracker and just kind of hope that we can spot them there. So we're gonna hop on the ADS-B and kind of keep our fingers crossed and see what happens. So I recognize that this is a terrible quality video, but this is kind of what they look like when they are visible on the ADS-B. They are unmarked aircraft, and really the only way that I can tell it's them is by their proximity to the airport that they're performing at, as well as their speed and direction. Okay, so now that the demo is, we think, completed, we can go ahead and hurry up and wait for them to request permission to take off. So this is where I have to start really listening for the air traffic control. If I miss when they request permission to take off or taxi, I will not know when they are in the air. They don't show up on flight radar, and when they're departing to go home, they don't actually show up on the ADS-B either. Usually Fat Albert is about 10 to 15 minutes behind the fighter jets, but we never know for sure, so I always try to make sure that I'm listening for either boss or Stalin to call to the tower and request permission for departure. Okay, so boss- Runway heading up to 3000, clear for takeoff, two six left, blue to one switch, and thanks so much, great job all weekend. There they go. Just like Did departure that. is 615 central time. And there's Bert. So now I just update the Facebook page and we keep track of them for the next hour. So it does get a little bit loud in here, so I'm going to give you guys a uh, just a little sample of that. As you saw earlier, I got interrupted by none other than Armitas himself, so thumbs up. <laughs> I'll check back in in an hour and I'll talk to y'all soon. Are 
starting to hear radio chatter, which means they should be at the beach in somewhere between five and 10 minutes, depending on if they choose to buzz or not. I just heard an entire conversation about hot sauce. So with that being said, I'm not going to be able to cut and start the video again. So whatever y'all get to hear, y'all get to hear. It's a little bit chaotic between trying to update the Facebook post and answer the comments and messages and questions and update the group chat. And it just gets to be a lot. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave this running and you guys can see just um, a few minutes of chaos. <laughs> I will say it is absolutely fascinating getting to listen in on these conversations. It So what I do is I update the post with the timestamp and what just happened. So it's 721 Pensacola time, so I will update the post as 721, the delta is over nine miles. <laughs> just got a message that they have buzzed Navarre and they will be over Pensacola Beach here in about two minutes. So I'm going to update to say that they hit Navarre and then we'll do Pensacola Beach and then all they have to do is land and we wait for Albert. And just like that, I was right. By the time I finished updating Navarre, they've hit Pensacola Pier. So I will go ahead and update that. Now we just wait for Boss to call a pitch up break, which is what the Blue Angels do when they go into land. And after that, we are pretty much done. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the video here. Bert doesn't talk too much and y'all probably aren't interested in the nitty gritty of landing speeds and things like that. Thank you so much for spending the last four and a half hours with me. I am so excited to take you guys on this adventure this week. It's gonna be a little bit crazy, as you can tell just from day one. Buckle your seatbelts. It's going to be a great week, and thank you for coming along.